Gary, congratulations in finishing the first section of the Chen Men Ching form. Today we're going to cover the second section and we're going to look at two movements. The first movement is carry tiger to the mountain, that's movement number 14. And then we're also going to do movement number 15, which is diagonal single whip. Now you already know how to do single whip. This is called diagonal single whip because we're going to be facing a corner. Now between movement 14 and 15, there's this transition. So after we do carry the tiger to mountain, we're gonna do a roll back, we're gonna do a press, we're gonna do a separate and push. And then we're gonna go into single whip, diagonal single whip. So again, I'm facing 12 o'clock, behind me is six o'clock, to my right is three o'clock, and to my left is nine o'clock. So I'm going to do the whole thing facing 12 o'clock and then I'm going to turn it around so you can see it better from another angle. So, the end of the first section, cross hands. I'm going to drop my hand, shift my weight to the left, my right hand protects the groin area, my left hand comes around to my left ear, my arms are going to act as a unit. I'm going to step behind me into the corner, pivot on my back heel, turn my right hand over. So that's carry tiger to the mountain. Now we have this transition phase. So here we go. I'm gonna do roll back. So I'm gonna shift back, drop my right elbow on top of my left, the palm of my left hand, turn to the left, and now shift forward as I turn, press, take that right hand, separate, shift back, down, and then shift up, forward, that's push. And now I'm going to do single whip. And we started in a corner, so I'm going to end up in a corner. So that's what you're gonna to need to do facing 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna turn around now. Now I'm facing 12 o'clock, behind me is six o'clock, to my right is three o'clock, to my left is nine o'clock. So when you're practicing this, again, you just finish cross hands, you're facing 12 o'clock. You're gonna drop your hands as you shift your weight to the left leg. Your right hand is gonna protect the groin area, your left hand looked around by your left ear, and your arms are gonna act as a unit. Now I am going to step from this position, I'm gonna step behind me and to the corner. I'm going to pivot on my back heel as I turn my torso, and then turn your right hand over and that's carry tiger to mountain. So once again, facing 12 o'clock, behind me is six o'clock. I just completed cross hands. I'm gonna drop my hands as I shift my weight to the left leg. Right hand protects groin area, left hand loops around by my left ear. My arms are gonna act as a unit now. I'm gonna step back and to the corner, pivot on my back heel because I'm turning my torso, and I'll turn my right hand over. So it's a brush knee and then turn that right hand over. Now here comes the transition, okay? We're gonna do roll back, press, push before we do single whip. So from this position, here comes the transition. My right hand is over, now roll back. Shift back and down, turn to the left. Left hand comes around, faces the inside of my right wrist. Now I'm gonna shift forward and turn at the waist, press, now I'm gonna separate. Now the distance between my hands and my body is not gonna change, I'm just shifting. Look at my legs, I'm shifting back, down, shift up, forward, that's push. And now we go to movement number 15, which, that, which is diagonal single whip. So I start in a corner, I'm gonna end up at that corner doing single whip. So here we go, shift back, right toes come up, arms come out, I pivot on that right heel, I pigeon toe, go a little bit more, make a ball, the top hand is a single whip hand, turn my torso again so my body is facing where my left toes are pointed. Now to break this up, single whip, and this is just a review, right hand comes out, breaking this into pieces, left hand comes up, so I'm looking at my left palm, I'm going to raise my left heel, pivot on my left toes, and now I'm going to do a half circle with my left foot, pivot on, raise my right toes, pivot on that back heel, 
and I'm going to do single whip. Now this is called diagonal single whip because we started in a corner, now we're ending in a corner. Again, in front of me is 12 o'clock, behind me is six, this is three, this is nine. I'm facing this corner. That's nine o'clock. I'm facing a corner, this is called diagonal single whip. My body should be facing that corner. So let me do that again for you. Again, I'm facing 12 o'clock, behind me is six o'clock, to my right is three, to my left is nine. I just completed the first section, cross hands. I'm gonna drop my hands as I shift my weight to the left leg. Right hand protects groin area, left hand loops around by my left ear. I'm gonna step now behind me and to the corner, shift on my back leg. So this right hand is brushing knee, and then turn my right hand over. So right now, that's 12 o'clock, that's six o'clock. I'm facing this corner. Now we're gonna go through the transition phase. Roll back, so shift back. Right elbow on top of left palm. Slight bend to both knees. Turn to the left, right hand goes horizontal. Left hand loops around, left palm faces the inside of my right wrist. I'm gonna shift my weight and turn. Take my right hand out, so separate, shift back down, shift up, forward, that's push, and now single whip. Since we're looking at a corner, we're gonna end up in a corner, so it's gonna be called diagonal single whip. So again, that's six o'clock, that's 12 o'clock, I'm looking at the corner. So here we go with single whip, just shift back, arms extend out about three quarters, right toes are up, pivot on that right heel, pigeon toe, go a little bit more, Make a ball, make a single whip hand. Your top hand is a single whip hand. Turn your waist again. So your body is facing where your left toes are pointed. This hand comes out, this hand comes up. Raise your left heel, pivot on left toes. Turn a half circle with your left foot, pivot on the back heel, and give me a single whip. Again, that is six o'clock there. And that's nine o'clock and I'm facing the corner. So that's uh, today's lesson. That's movement number 14 and number 15.